Hello gamers! Nintendo's press event was yesterday, and it wasn't a very long one. It was only about 30 minutes long. Nothing groundbreaking. Uh, I was a little disappointed with that. I was expecting something pretty big from them, but we got what was pretty much predicted. We got to see a little more of the game I wanted to see, which is Super Mario Odyssey. That's looking to be a really interesting game with the whole mechanic of where the hat, you can throw it out and use it to jump on it. You can use it to boost yourself up, make, jump higher, or jump across really far gaps. Also, you can take control of other enemies, like bullet bills. Uh, you can also, uh, there's other parts of the game where you are a 2D image along the wall, just like some of the uh, Zelda games on the 3DS which is interesting, where you, you and other characters look like 2D images and then you pop out into the 3D and the enemies pop out into the 3D and you can use the hat to take control over them or you can attack with the hat. Interesting mechanics. Looks like they're really bringing some interesting new stuff for this game. So, I'm a Mario fan. I've been playing Mario for years, so... Pretty interesting. Uh, nothing... Nothing new, big, and groundbreaking we got information on the two new DLCs that are coming to Breath of the Wild. We got the, the Master Trials, which are the really difficult content for Breath of the Wild, and another one that involves various characters from the various different races of Hyrule champion characters, and it looks like we may also get some new storyline from that. No detail on storyline, mostly just a lot of trailer stuff. Nothing story-wise, nothing of exactly what these DLCs will contain. It looks like the first one, the whole Trials one, is going to be a lot of very difficult content, a lot of hard content. There's some people who just love the extremely hard stuff that's in the, uh, the Trials in Breath of the Wild. Where you go to these different islands, or you go to these different places, and you can't leave until you beat the trial, or you 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 do leave, you lose your chance to win. You have to come back and start over. But there are people out there that just love that challenge, and it looks like they're going to be bumping that challenge up big time because the game already normally is really hard. And Breath of the Wild is thanks to the a limited edition master um, set that was released for the GameCube of Zelda 64. That was released out on the GameCube and it was a limited edition. I believe you received it if you pre-ordered a GameCube or you pre-ordered um, one of the Zelda games for, for the GameCube. You received that disc and it had the Zelda 64, and I think it also had Majora's Mask, and the Zelda 64 was insanely difficult, and you could only get it by doing that, and my roommates got a, got a copy, and I played it, and it is brutally hard, and Breath of the Wild is not quite as brutally hard, but the fact that the most of the majority of the weapons break easily makes the game really hard. Uh, there are weapons that are indestructible, but you have to really work to get them. Really work to get them. Uh, we got to see uh, some stuff about another Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles coming. Never played that series, but there are people who are big fans of it, and there are people who campaign to get Nintendo to bring the game here to the West. And so it's good to see that they're finally, finally seeing you know, if you bring the games here, people will buy them. You know, not a whole lot of people bought them, but if you bring them here, people will buy them because, you know, people want to play those games. Bring them here. Localize them. Well, don't just make them exclusive to Japan. They're people who actually want to play those games. And we're also going to be uh, getting another uh, Fire, Fire Emblem game. That's another series that's really popular on Nintendo. Now, now it's been on their handhelds before, but now it's going to be on the Switch. So it's 
this one's gonna be interesting. It looks like it's gonna be characters from other uh, game, other Fire Emblem uh, realities, other dimensions. That's the gist I got from the trailer. Helping uh, people from that game's dimension try and uh, beat their enemy, so to speak. I'm not really sure. I don't know the story of Fire Emblem. I've never played the series before. So I don't know the full series of it, but it looks it looks interesting. And we got some more stuff on uh, Splatoon 2 that's coming out for the Switch. Not much else. Not much else. Nothing groundbreaking. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we got to see a little more of Skyrim for for the Switch. Now it's a big deal that we're getting Skyrim that the Switch is capable of running a game like Skyrim and it is the special edition I can tell you why the original game from 2011 does not have God Ray shaders does not have God Rays now that was added with the special edition those the, that lighting effect those lighting effects and God Rays were added for the special edition version. Before, if you wanted them in the 2011 version, you had to use an e and mod to add them. It did not exist prior to that. So this is the special edition version. Now what we're probably not gonna get is mods. Don't expect them. The Switch does not have enough storage for it. And it would be weird if you could only use mods if the switch was docked and you had a USB hard drive or something plugged into the dock. That would be weird. Uh, now, Creation Club thing that they've got going on. I don't know if that was going to be in it or not either. Again, those are mods, but those are a little different. Those are co-developed by Bethesda. They make sure that they don't break the game or they'd make sure that they're compatible with one another and they're made by Bethesda themselves as well as you know, top guest developers, guest mod creators they bring in. Doubt very much that that will be also in this version of Skyrim. Now this version does have amiibo support. They showed a uh, Zelda amiibo being scanned and you get a chest that gives you the Master Sword, you know, Link's green tunic and the Hylian sword. I don't know what the stats on any of those items are. They just showed your character running around with them in the game. So I don't know what the stats of those would be, if they would be worth having in the game. Maybe worth having starting out as a level one, maybe. I don't know. I have no clue what the stats will be on those. But other than that, nothing... Nothing groundbreaking, nothing shocking, surprising, nothing coming completely out of the blue other than, no, I don't know, another Metroid Prime. It's about time. Love it or hate it. Now there are people who hate it and people who loved it. My roommate never liked it. I actually liked Metroid Prime. And we got didn't get to see any gameplay because the game's still in development. They just announced that they're working on it. All we got was just a short snippet with some Metroid Prime-esque music and the, lo and the logo and the title, Metroid Prime 4. So we're finally getting it. After how long the fans have been screaming at Nintendo to do another game in the series? And then we get this what federation force thing on the 3ds that's coming that's got everybody riled up and their torches and pitchforks oh we're finally getting a game that we've been asking for finally other than that nothing groundbreaking i was hoping that nintendo might announce a headset even something where you just slide the switch into it and you can use the joy cons as controllers 
for VR. It's capable of it. It's definitely capable of it. The hardware is powerful enough to do it. But Nintendo has been looking at VR. They, they stated that they have been looking at it. So, I don't know. Uh, we also got a little bit more look at you know, Mario and Rabbids. Rabbids, the sort of collaboration between Nintendo and Ubisoft. Looks interesting. Looks definitely interesting. Tactical, tactical shooter with Mario and the Rabbids. Rabbids humor is hilarious. Uh, I, I, I wish we could get another really good 3D Rayman game from Ubisoft. But this wasn't the humor in this is pretty good. The Rabbids humor mixed with Mario, not bad, not bad at all. And it looks like it's a fun game. So that's all we got to see. I'm sure Nintendo's going to be showing a lot more all throughout the week. E3 just started. So, thank you for watching and listening to me ramble on. And if any more pertinent news comes along, I will let you guys know. You will get another video from me. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. Give us a like if you liked this video. Uh, also, remember that I produce videos for Gamers Bay, and we have a community over at Google+. Plus. It is a huge community, and we're very friendly. I'm a moderator there and manager for the community, and we have no trolls. No trolls, no drama. If you're looking for a gaming community that is safe, look no further than Gamers Bay. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.